Hi, everybody. Stephanie of Stephanie Stitches here. Welcome to my channel today for Saturdays with Steph. Sorry, I'm a couple minutes late since I got back from Georgia and I haven't connected through Zoom. Zoom was confused. <laughs> it didn't know what to do. It thought it was still in Georgia. <laughs> so um, today starts the All Stars So Along. I'm really excited about this. This So Along is because of you guys because so many of you had emailed me when I asked for ideas of what to do in the new year to sew along and said, you wanted to do a star sampler sew along. Y'all know how much I love stars. So it's your fault that we're doing this. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm actually really excited that you guys asked me to do this because um, I've been wanting to do an all-star quilt for a long time. Um, so I'm really happy to be here and be doing this. So I want to say happy new year, first of all. Um, and say hello to everybody who's here. I did get the pattern up a little late today. I was having some internet issues with uploading, um, but it is on my website now. It's under Stephanie Scoop, which is my blog. And there's a little thing that says uh, for the PDF pattern, click here. If you click here, there, <laughs> um, you can download the PDF and that's where it will be um, every week. So what I'm going to do from now on is I'm going to upload it on Fridays and have it available to you guys on Saturday morning instead of waiting, just in case I have upload issues again. So I do apologize for that. So hopefully that'll solve the problem a little bit going forward. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Hi, Tamala and Seely. Hi, Mona. Hi, Remo and Diane, Doris, Marianne. Congratulations, Marianne, on your win at So Yeah. That was awesome. Hey, Paula. Oh, hey, Nadine from France. Good to have you. Heidi Katie Crafts, Sherlock Sows, Lori. Hi, Sherry Harris, Bettina, Math Geek, Gianna Meyer, Cheryl Curley, Jacqueline Spear, Linda, Terry Zimmer, Terry Wanat, uh, Priscilla Lancaster, Marla. Hi, good to see you. Shannon Rhodes, good to see you. Okay, if I missed anybody, I'm sorry. Oh, Mary Jane Ellinger, hi there. If I miss anybody else, oh, Diane's here. So Terry's here, Jackie's here. Hi guys, it was good to see you all. Feels like it's been a really long time because I was gone at the retreat and then I came home and I got a little bit sick. We're not gonna talk about that, I'm fine. Um, so I haven't seen you all in a, in a little bit. I hope you all had a really great holiday season. I did, um, I really enjoyed myself in Georgia. The ladies down there were so amazing and I loved getting to know all of them. Um, and the area was gorgeous. It was a little uh, difficult to get to with all the mountains, but that's okay. It was worth all of that to um, be in that beautiful setting and meet those wonderful people. So, um, hey, Donna. Hi, uh, Teresa. Hi, Kathleen. Hi, Anne-Marie. Hi, Melanie. Good to have you all here. So the block that we're working on today is the Ohio star. I had to start with my favorite one. <laughs> so this is what it's going to look like. So you're going to make two blocks every time we make a block together. Now this so long is going to be about 12 weeks. There's going to be a couple of weeks where we take a break um, because the um, cotton cut so long begins in February. And some of you may know, but if you don't, um, we're going to be sewing that here on my channel with a group of ladies who signed up together. Um, and I'm really excited about that. So during those weeks, we'll take a break from this. But if you're not doing the cotton cuts, that'll give you a chance to catch up on your star blocks if you need to. So uh, Georgia is beautiful. What area we're in? We were in Don Dahlonega, Georgia. It's up in the mountains north of Atlanta by about an hour and a half. And it was just absolutely gorgeous. So yeah. Hi, Doris. Um, so for this sew along, you're if you bring about three and a half yards, depending on if you're um, a careful cutter or if you're okay with needing extra because maybe you're not the most careful cutter and that's okay. I make mistakes too. Maybe three and a half to four yards of background fabric. Um, I'm starting with a fat quarter bundle that had 26 fat quarters in it. I don't think I'm going to need every single scrap of that, but so my blocks can all be a little bit different. There'll be some repeats of fabric. Um, that'll give me enough variety for this project. And then you'll need a little less than a quarter yard for your accent pieces. Now, um, somebody asked a good question if the accent squares are going to be the same um, across the whole quilt. 
I'm going to make mine the same across the whole quilt. Um, and the reason I'm going to do that is you'll get a secondary pattern if we make all those the same plus the sashing squares the same. So I'm going to use this accent color across my whole quilt, but that's entirely up to you. This is your quilt. It's going to be your colors, what you like. So you do you. <laughs> But that's just my suggestions and what I'm going to do. Hi, Erich, how you doing? Um, Donna said, I'm so excited for cotton cuts. I've never done them before. Yay. I love the cotton cuts because they're already cut and we just have to open the package and put it together. <laughs> that's so nice, especially because there's so many other projects going on that we do have to cut. So yeah. Oh, you like the happy flowers with the red? Me too. Isn't that pretty? So I'm not typically a 30s reproduction kind of girl, but I had two bundles from April Rosenthal. And if you guys know her fabrics at all, she does the, the bright, cute colors of the 30s and, in, and um, her lines all go together. So I had these two smaller bundles of two of her different lines and thought I'd put them together and, and make this quilt. So good way to use my stash. I didn't want to buy anything new. <laughs> Hello, Christine. Hi, Catherine. Okay, so I'm gonna hang this one on the wall behind me and I'm gonna show you guys how to make this. Although a lot of you probably already know how to make an Ohio star, um, but we'll make one together today. Um, like I said, every week we're gonna make two of each star block. Um, and then at the end we'll have 20 blocks. So we'll have a four by five, five grid. So it'll make a decent size quilt. So let me get my pieces all set here. Um, I don't have my second camera set up yet. Um, like I said, everything's still kind of packed away from Georgia because when I got home, I didn't unpack anything. Um, so I'm going to have to move my camera so you guys can see what I'm doing. You won't see my face, but I'd rather you see what I'm doing um, so I can guide you through this. Although, like I said, most of you probably already know how to make an Ohio star, but that's okay. We'll do one together. Um, I don't usually lean red, but your star is beautiful. Thank you. Yeah, I'm not a big red girl either until I did that red work quilt that you all asked me to do um, or picked for me to do on my UFO. And now I'm sort of liking red. So <laughs> Denise said, I'm at a fabric store near me picking out fabric for a quilt requested by my son and his girlfriend in Georgia. Oh, how fun. Cool. Awesome. Okay. So um, if you guys have any more questions about the sew along, um, each week it'll, um, uh, come up, like I said, on Saturday morning, I'm going to upload it on Fridays from now on. So it, it, we don't have to worry about the internet having issues and then I'll put it up there Saturday morning for you. So each week you'll get cutting instructions. I'm not going to have a cutting instruction thing for the entire quilt right now. Um, can you use AccuQuilt to cut the pieces? I'm not an AccuQuilt user. So if you could figure that on your end, great, go for it. <laughs> But like I said, it's going to be a week by week thing. I'm not going to give you cutting instructions for the whole entire project because um, I'm still kind of designing some of the blocks as we go here. Um, I So that was a good question too. Elizabeth said, uh, is this a mystery or can we see the finished quilt? I'm just now hearing about this. I don't have the quilt finished yet. <laughs> I've done about half the blocks and I've got to finish doing the rest of the blocks. So that's why I said I'm going to release them one at a time. You'll get the cutting instructions one at a time. I know it can be a little, I know some people like it that way. Some people don't like it that way, but that's just the way I'm going to have to do it this time around. So I've got a bunch of other things going on, which you'll hear about in the next week. Look for a video from Stephen Bland and I, Bland Designs and the Idiot Quilter. We're doing a collab and then I've got a bunch of other sew alongs going. Or, so yeah, we're going to do this one at a time <laughs> for my sanity. The size of the blocks are going to be, that's a good question, Marla. They're going to be 12 and a half inches square. And then we're going to have some sashing and to make the quilt a little wider. So hi, Faith. Happy New Year. The fabric requirements per block. They're going to be in the instructions. So per week. Bright and happy, I'm in, said Kathleen. Awesome. I like that we can use our stash, said Shannon. Yeah. So I decided to like try to use some things that I had because I've got so many projects and so many like I don't need to buy new fabric so yep the accu quilt will work as long as you have the size correct size dies awesome yep okay so that looks like I've covered most of the questions 
if you have any more, um, let me know, like, make sure you tag me at Step quilting with Stephanie stitches. So it'll, sh it'll highlight my name. So I don't miss you. Hi, Melissa. Um, requirements for one or two blocks. Oh, you know what? That's a good question, Cheryl. I'm not sure if I put it for one or two. I think I put it for one. Yeah. So the requirements that are in there, I'm sorry, I didn't think about this when I wrote the pattern, um, are for one block. So you're going to need to double that for two blocks. But I'm using different fabrics for my stars. I didn't want the same two Ohio stars. So that's probably why I didn't think to double the fabric in there. So yeah, so that the fabrics that are listed right now in the pattern are for one block. That was a great question, Cheryl. Thank you. Okay. All right. I'm going to move my camera and then we'll get sewing on this Ohio star. Move these guys. Okay. Don't get seasick. <laughs> Hopefully I can move this in. All right, let's pray that that works and you guys can see this and it stays. <laughs> it's wanting to fall over here. Okay, nobody got seasick, right? <laughs> yep, so we're gonna do two of each block each week. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to, these guys are so, I'm going to start with the corner units, get those done and put those out of the way. And I'm going to put the fabrics right sides together, these little accent pieces. And just sew from corner to corner, add these to our corner units. Hi, Karen, how you doing? Busy day, but a good day. And next week I'll get my second camera back up so you guys can see me and feel like you're talking to me. And so at the same time. Hi, Kathy's Quilts and Crafts. How you doing? Happy New Year, everybody. Hey there, Shannon. Okay. Grab my scissors. I'm going to trim these a quarter inch towards the outside, away from where I sewed. Hi, Sherry. How you doing? You're welcome, Karen. Hi, Shelly Stewart. How you doing? Okay, I'm gonna grab my iron now. You can see out of the way. I am dropping everything over here, you guys. And you guys know I can't sew without my magic juice, so I'm gonna put my magic juice on here. <laughs> Hi, Kathy. How you doing, hun? Hi, Melissa makes quilts.
So once you're done pressing these that look like like this, and those are going to be your quarter units, I'm just going to set those aside. We're done with those guys for now. Yes, that magic juice is amazing, Laura, isn't it? Y'all know I can't sew without it. I love it. Okay, put that aside. All right, so now I'm going to grab, and I already cut these and I shouldn't have because I should have showed you guys what I was doing. So I'm going to put them back together. But you'll have some background squares. Actually, it's a bigger background square, so it would have been like this. And as you can see, because I reconstructed it, you're gonna take your background squares and your two other color squares that are the six and a half inch size, and you're gonna cut them corner to corner this way and corner to corner the opposite. So you're gonna have four quarters here. So we're gonna use these pieces to make our quarter square triangles, or you can call it an hourglass block, either one. I need to get on that magic juice train. Yes, you do, Sherry, it's great. <laughs> I will have it in, uh, Las Vegas when I go. So you can see it there too. <laughs> okay. So now what we're going to do is for each block. So I guess I can put these all together. We're going to sew these guys together. We cut all this fabric apart just to sew it back together again, but we're going to make it pretty. <laughs> so this block is going to have red as my accent, pink as the main color in my block, and white background. Um, so I line these up. So these two are going to go together, and these two are going to go together. So I'm going to take a pink and lay it on top of my white and sew these together. Um, oversize these blocks so you guys can um, sew them together and then trim them down. That takes away any stress of them not turning or of them turning out too small. When will I be in Vegas? Anne Marie, I will be in Vegas the last week of February for Soya's retreat. Oh, you're welcome, Kathy. Anytime. Okay, and now I'm going to sew these guys together. So this time I'm going to put the red on top of the pink. And I'm just chain piecing all of these. You guys can do that too. Gearing up for it, Sherry. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. I can't wait to meet you too in person. Gotta go, but I'll look for the pattern when I get home. Awesome, thanks Denise. Good to see you. Glad you made it home safely.
Might have to take a road trip to Vegas. Funny thing, husband wants to go there soon. Yay! Come at the end of February. <laughs> That'd be awesome, Anne Marie. I'd love to meet you. I feel like I know you because I've known you for so long now, but never met you in person. Hey, Tracy, how you doing? Good to have you. Usually on top of the puzzle to quote with the holidays, I have five and six to do next week. Same here. I have been trying to make videos of those as I go to just to keep myself on track. And I didn't do December. So I'm going to make December's and January's tomorrow. So get back, get myself back on track. It's one of my goals this year is to, uh, get back on track with anything I got behind on and to stay caught up after that. We'll see if I can do it. <laughs> you too, Anne-Marie. You're fine, Melissa. Hey, Sharon, how you doing? Hi, Shelly. So now I'm gonna press these all towards the pink fabric. So away from the background and then away from the red. Because if you press them all towards the color that is used in both sets of Hasbro triangles, they'll nest nicely together. So this is another way you can use magic juice. I've had a few people say, do you have to put it on the top of the fabric, the bottom of the fabric? It really doesn't matter, but you can actually put it on ahead of time too before you iron a little bit and let it set and it'll still work. So I'm gonna just put this all on all of these all at once and finger press them over and then iron them. So I'm not going back and forth between the iron and the juice. I feel like I'm pushing steroids. <laughs> Thanks, Jackie. Oh, you're putting away the Christmas tree, Shelly? We haven't put ours away yet, to be honest with you guys. <laughs> I was kind of hoping they would put it away while I was gone, but they did not. So that's something else I have to do this coming week. Although it's kind of pretty. Kind of sad to put away that, the lights and everything. You have learned to love that magic pen, yes. Sharon says, how was the retreat? It was fabulous. The ladies there were all so amazing. Although the ladies at every retreat we've been to have been, um, and the location was beautiful. It was a little tricky in the mountains there for a bit, but uh, to get there, but once you got there, it was amazing. <laughs> I'm the hookup for the good stuff, Shannon. Yeah. So if you don't know me by now, you know, I wouldn't recommend anything that I didn't myself love and the magic juice is it. <laughs> Keep up the tree and decorate it for Valentine's. That's a good idea, Kate. I like that because then I can leave the twinkle lights up. <laughs> Shelly said, I like the magic juice, but I need to buy it by the gallon. Guess what, Shelly? That's how I buy it for myself. <laughs> but actually the gallon lasts a long time because somebody asked me the one day, they said, how much do you go through in a year? I bought a gallon about this time last year and I still have more than a half a gallon left. So even though I use it all the time and you guys see me use it all the time. It really takes so little on the seams that you don't go through it as fast as you think you're going to. But I do buy it by the gallon. <laughs> Hi, Donna. How you doing? I decided to leave my candles in the windows up through the winter. Makes it a little better for the winter blues. Oh, that's a good idea. Christine said, I'm enjoying my treat until the end of January since I had a late start. Awesome. All right, so let me pull all these apart. So as you can see, now they're going opposite directions, the pinks, which is what we want. So we're just going to sew those together with a quarter inch seam. So I'm gonna pile all these up and chain piece them like I did. 
And obviously you can tell these are way too big, but I'd rather have them big and cut them down than them be too small. Does the gallon size ever start to dry out or evaporate? I've never had that problem. And like I said, I've had it for my gallon for just about a year now, um, but I keep it down here. I work in my basement. Um, we have we have a finished basement. So I work in my basement and it's kind of cool, cooler down here and darker. So that might help. I don't know if you kept it up in a room that was like quite warm and in the sunshine, it might. You can pin these in the center if you want to hold them together. I'm just holding them with my finger. They're nesting really nicely since I pressed them opposite directions. I'm driving to the UPS store and listening. Hi, y'all. Hey, Yvette. I know you probably have a load because I know you're busy filling orders. We're both trying to catch up a little bit after getting home. So funny story for you guys, the uh, my Black Beauty that I haven't had back for that long, I thought it was broken earlier today. It sounded funny. It wouldn't sew very fast. And I was like, oh man, I just got this back. <laughs> so I was a little bit frustrated. Well, I realized that my son had come down here, my youngest son, who's three, and he completely changed the tension and put the speed on turtle instead of rabbit. <laughs> Once I figured out what he had done, I was like, oh, thank goodness that's all that happened. But for a fleeting moment, I thought I was going to have to take her back to the shop. <laughs> oh, thanks, Karen. Well, I'm going to have more videos coming up too. I won't have daily videos because that's a lot to do. Um, but I've got a collab coming up with Steven and I'm back to doing my UFO whip videos, which I haven't done for almost, I just posted one yesterday, but I hadn't done them for about a month. So I need it for myself to keep myself in check. <laughs> uh, what is the difference in the easy press treatment and the seam align glue? They came with the easy press. Okay, so the seam align glue is more for like applique or something like that, or you can actually, glue your pieces together before you sew them because your needle doesn't get stuck to that glue. But the easy press isn't glue. The easy press is a starch, a concentrated starch alternative um, that just helps you get your blocks pressed really, really flat. And that's why I love it because who doesn't like flat blocks? <laughs> I just have found that my piecing game has changed since I've been using this pen. Um, Everything comes out more precise and the flatter you can get your blocks before you sew them all together into a quilt, the much better result you get, like when you're long arming it or regular quilting it or take it to a long armor. They just, you get, I, I feel like for me anyway, I feel like the, my results are better. Okay. Iron those guys. kiddos, gosh, you have to love it when they're helping. That's right. I, you know, he was down here because he wanted to spend some time with mommy while I was cutting some fabric and he must have snuck over here away from my cutting table and turned everything. 
he's fascinated by my sewing machine. So at least that's all it was. And she didn't need another trip because I don't think I could deal with her being gone for months again. <laughs> Oh, you guys are asking about my Etsy shop? Well, thank you for asking first. If you go to my website, stephanies-stitches.com, on my homepage, if you read in the verbiage there, it says something about my Etsy shop and there's a link to it. Or you can go to the top where it says fabric shop or fabric store, I can't remember exactly the verbiage. And that takes you to my Etsy shop as well. I do not have my Bluetooth keyboard hooked up yet either, so I can't stick the link in there for you. I'm afraid if I touch anything right now that I will turn the zoom off by accident. <laughs> oh, Shannon stuck it in there. Thank you, Shannon. I appreciate that. No, four o'clock, four o'clock. I go live at five every Saturday, Sherry. Are you central time, Sherry? In the old days, we never touched the tension on our machine. I know, Sherry, right? That's how I was taught to, like, don't ever touch your tension. Just leave it how it was and the thing came out of the box. But now, since I'm a long armor, I can pretty much fix any tension. So maybe my son will be the next filter. <laughs> that would be awesome. <laughs> your central time. Okay, yeah. Okay, so now I'm gonna trim these down to four and a half inches and I'm gonna lay my ruler with the diagonal seam right on the seam that I sewed to get my four and a half inch block. And that is over too far. This is my favorite method for making these just because I don't know, I've made them before where the fabric was supposed to be quite exact and then they came out too small and then I was very frustrated. So I'd rather have a little bit of scrap than them being too small. And then we get a perfect little unit, I love it. Looks like an envelope, <laughs> it's kind of cute. My machine has automatic tension, haven't touched it for 12 years. Yeah, um, some of the machines do, but I have an all mechanical machine, my straight stitch machine, so it doesn't have auto tension. Shelly said, I took a class years ago on sergers and got over any fears of changing tensions. Awesome. Yeah, you get over that real quick too when you have a long arm because there's not somebody standing right there telling you how to fix things. So you've got to kind of figure out, figure it out yourself. And it's not something that you can't just pick up a long arm and haul it into the shop every time you have a question because they're big and heavy. Give a thumbs up to your love. Oh, thanks, Nancy. And I said, I used to hate squaring up blocks, but now I appreciate how much better the projects turn out. Yeah, I'm with you, Shannon. I used to hate that too um, for years. And I whined about it, you know, to myself because nobody's listening to me but me. But <laughs> but honestly, like to get such a better result, it's worth it. Because I made some pretty wonky quilts when I first started. <laughs> After you get these trimmed up, this block goes together in about five minutes. This is the longest part of the process. Uh, 
Okay, so there's all of those. I'm gonna put my rotary cutter and the scissors away so I don't hurt myself. And I'm gonna lay out my block. So this is my center. And then the red is going to touch my center. Ooh, I love it. These are, like I said, not typically fabrics that I use, but I am loving these bright, happy colors for the beginning of January. And when we finish, it'll be spring, so it'll be perfect. Well, I don't know. It could still snow here at that, that time of year, but closer to spring. Ooh. Okay, so that's what the block is going to look like. And so now I'm just going to sew these pieces together to make the rows. I appreciate the trim down. Awesome. I know, right? I love that. That's our fun. Hi, Diane. How you doing? Well, my magic juice is what we lovingly call acorn easy press precision piecing. <laughs> uh, yeah. pressing solution. Um, it comes in a bottle and you put it in this pen and apply it to your seams to get super flat quilt blocks. We call it magic juice because that sounds better than all those other words. And it's amazing. <laughs> Love the block. What's the pattern called? Where can I purchase it? And these are free on my website, stephanies-stitches.com. I'm going to have a new block each week during the sew along. And this is an Ohio star with a little bit of a modification. LA said, I have an older FAF and love it. I don't know how, I don't know about the new electric ones. My machine that I um, sew on is an all mechanical machine and I love it. But I also have electric machine that I like too. So whatever you're used to and you love and that works for you. That's the most important thing that it works for you. Hey Sue Allen, how you doing? Hey sweetheart creation, creations. Hi Crystal. Uh, let's see. Marla said, I made a quilt out of that fabric from one of my subscription boxes, maybe so sampler or ginger quilter. I still need border and backing. Awesome. It's cute fabric, isn't it? I have to go help Tubby. <laughs> That's funny. I started to start the sampler. I've been wanting to do a star quilt. Thanks, Stephanie, for saving me the work. <laughs> sure. All right. So my rows are all put together. So now I am going to press before I join the rows to make the block. I'm going to press the top two out and the center in. I kind of try to see which way the fabric wants to lay before I decide how to press it. And that seems to want to lay out, so. 
and there's less bulk that way. Let me iron these guys. <laughs> Marla said, my OCD and those hearts had a great time together. Got them all in the same direction. You know what, Marla? You know me and my OCD. Usually that bothers me, but because they're such a small print, I'm just letting it go. <laughs> Hi, Joy. How you doing? Hi, Camille. How are you doing? Good to see you. Jackie said, I love my mechanical genome, but I also have two electronic singers that I use for the decorative stitches. Yes, yes. I have, um, well, this is a genome, of course, and then I have an electric genome as well for like all the other stitches, like zigzag buttonholes, and it also has decorative stitches. So when your husband say, why do you need another machine? Well, because this one doesn't do what that one does. <laughs> Shelly Stewart said, love the fabric and the block. Thanks, Shelly. I really like this fabric. I wasn't sure about it when I pulled it off my shelf for uh, this project, but I think it's gonna be a super happy quilt. These, these uh, fabrics are so bright and cheerful. And about this time of year, usually where I live, and Marla can tell you, it's usually very gray and dark in Ohio for the next few months. So this will bring some uh, brightness to our life. Okay, I'm gonna put these back where they belong. All right, now that those are nice and flat, you guys can see how flat they are. I'm going to sew those rows together, make the block. Hey, Elena, how you doing? Teresa said, I was not thinking I like the pink, but it's really nice once it's laid out. Yeah. I'm accidentally or organizing my sewing room and watching you, said Elena. <laughs> Elena, I get into trouble when I accidentally organize because I start doing that and then I ended up with more out of my drawers than put away. <laughs> Same reason you need a bag full of golf clubs, right, Shelly? <laughs> okay, so there's two of them put together. Put this one together. Joy said, doing well, thanks. Looking forward to Millersburg. I am too, I'm so excited. Millersburg was the original. I'm looking forward to year two. Teresa said, I finally got it, but I've not still found a use for it yet, but we'll soon finally starting Tula's Butterfly. Ooh, awesome. After getting cold feet for a year. <laughs> that will be a beautiful quilt, that butterfly quilt. Jackie said, why do they need more than one screwdriver? Right. <laughs> Every time I have, my husband is an electrical engineer and every time he wants another little electrical cord and we already have 5 million around here, I'm like, really? But then I have to go, yep, but I have more fabric. <laughs> he doesn't question my fabric and I don't question his cord. <laughs> okay, so there's that block. I just need to iron it up. And somebody just said, are both, blocks supposed to be from the same fabrics no i'm making well you can if you want but i'm making each of mine out of different fabrics so here are both of mine i'm just going to iron this guy and then stick him on the wall with my other guy and then i'll move my camera so i can actually talk to you guys and you can see my face <laughs> no i'm not putting the pen on the front and back of the fabric but you can put it on either you don't have to put it on both sides, though, if that's what you meant by that. I'm just putting it on one side.
it soaks through kind of like best press. Marla said, I forgot to make my reservation for Millersburg today. I may be sleeping in my bed. You're fine. They have a block of room set aside for us, Marla. You'll be fine. No worries. Pamela said, I'm looking forward to my first retreat. Awesome. We're looking forward to having you. Oh, good to hear that it was an easy process, Shannon. I told them that I was releasing that and letting you guys know to call in and to be ready. So <laughs> they said that they would have people to man the phone. So I'm glad to hear that. Sue Allen said, are you making this quilt from your stash or from a box? Came in late or is this a follow along? I am actually making this with fabrics from my stash. And these are blocks that I'm, they're just star blocks that I'm writing up a pattern, quick and easy every week. Um, and you guys can sew along with me if you like. We're calling it the All Star Sew Along. It's going to be All Stars. There's the block. So cute. Didn't think they were open over the weekend. Yep, they're open. Millersburg, Ohio. Yep. All right. So let me hang this guy on the wall and then I'll. Move my camera so you guys can see me again. To chit chat for a few minutes. All right, don't get seasick, guys. Next week, I'll have my second camera back hooked up so you can see me and the project, and we don't have to move the camera and make you all ill. <laughs> okay, let's see. Going to have such a fun time. Didn't have to do. A day job, I would just fangirl and follow Stephanie and Yvette to all their retreats. Oh, thanks, Shannon. You're so sweet. Shannon has been to, she's been to our Millersburg, Ohio retreat and our Nut House <laughs> retreat in Pennsylvania. I just love that name. I think it's hilarious. Um, thank you, pretty fuck, she said. Thank you, Nancy. Thank you. Good idea. We'll catch up this week. Awesome. Thank you for answering my questions. You're welcome. Does anybody else have any questions about what we did, what we're doing, um, about the sew along? Like I said, this is gonna be a week by week thing. You'll get the cutting instructions each week. Um, thank you for the person, I think it was Christine, might've been somebody else who asked if the cutting instructions on the PDF this week were for one block or two. They're for one. And since I started that for one, every week I'll just do it for one block, but no, you need to make two blocks because we're gonna make two of each one, but I'm gonna do, mine uh like my ohio stars are out of different fabrics so next the star next week they're going to be both of them are going to be out of different fabrics i don't want them to all be the same so i'll keep writing it for like one block but make sure you do two of each block let's see matthew said this is such a beautiful fabric line i just might have several pre-cuts in my stash yeah it's pretty I wasn't sure if I liked this fabric or not because I'm not usually a 30s repo person, but I love it. Um, Ellie said, Marla, I went to Shipshawana with a group one year. The Amish community was interesting. Yep. Shipshawana is Amish country in Indiana. Millersburg is, or Berlin area is Amish country here in Ohio. Uh, let's see. Will the red be the main consistent color throughout this quilt? No, Karen, I'm using um, my bundle. Hang on. My bundle kind of fell apart. Let me grab it, though. I set it down here. I'm using this bundle that I had. So I'm going to use all of these fabrics in my, in my quilts. So I'm going to have some blues, greens, yellows, orange, pink, red. So no, red's not going to be dominant. It just so happened. That's what I picked this week. Um, but there's weeks that I'm not going to use any red. Um, there's weeks that I'm going to have more purple, weeks I'm going to have more blue. So yeah, no, it's not going to be dominant. And like I said, you can use whatever fabrics you want. So I started with this fat quarter bundle, um, which should be more than enough fabric, and then added background fabric and um, accent fabric. So let's see.
are there still openings for the retreat in Millersburg? No, it's full and I've got quite a wait list, um, but there's always next year. And we do still have openings in Pennsylvania. If you're not that far, if you're close to Ohio, you're not that far from Pennsylvania. So there's still a couple openings in Pennsylvania. All the other retreats this year, thank you to you guys have sold out. So thank you, that's awesome. Shelly said, I would like to go to retreats back east as well, just to meet people from the chat. That would be awesome, Shelly. That's going to be beautiful. How long is the soul long for? That's a good question. I think it's probably gonna take about 12 weeks, Shelly, um, just because we've got a couple breaks for the Cotton Cuts Puzzle Mystery Quilt Soul Along that we're gonna do. The first one is the second week in February, as long as they ship everything on time. And um, same thing with every month thereafter. So there'll be a couple of breaks for that, but every other week that we're not doing Puzzle Mystery Quilt, we're gonna work on this. So if you're not doing the Cotton Cuts Puzzle Mystery Quilt, you could use that week. You could come on and watch us so that and maybe catch up on your star blocks or work on something else, um, but yeah. Will we be scheduling any other retreats? Um, we're looking at other things, but not at this time that for this year. There will be other coming retreats for the following year. Um, the following year, we are going to be losing one of our retreats just because the location is not going to be available. So that's kind of stinky. So we're going to look for somewhere to replace that. Um, and yeah, we're looking at all kinds of different things. So probably not in this next year though. Let's see. Didn't catch where to get the block pattern. And if you send me an email, I will, um, send you that. Come get silly at the nut house. Yeah, we were a bunch of nuts at the nut house. It was so much fun though. Stephanie of that convention in the middle of the country would be fun that everyone could go to. Are you planning for Atlanta? Do you mean a retreat in Atlanta or QuiltCon? Um, I'm not going to QuiltCon, but Yvette is. Um, I can't go during that time. My husband's going to be out of town. Um, but Yvette will be there. And we are thinking of going back to Georgia next year. So, cause we really, really enjoyed it. Probably not directly in Atlanta though. Cause that's pretty expensive. Can I share a link to the retreats? Ooh, let me see if I can get it without killing my feed. Oh, I said that and then Shannon got it. Thank you, Shannon. You're awesome. I really appreciate it. Yep. Okay, does anybody else have any questions about the sew along or anything else really? <laughs> it's good to see everybody. I feel like, um, like I said, it's been a while because we had Vlogmas and I saw a lot of you almost every day, which is amazing. Thank you so much. Um, and then I kind of like stopped because there's no more Vlogmas and then I had retreat and then I was back home for a, a little bit and not in commission and then, yeah. So it's good to see everybody. I'll give you all a minute here. I just want to th say thank you right now to, um, I know Shannon's moderating for me. Thank you so much. I wanted to say thank you to moderators because you all um, are really, you know, do a lot and um, you don't get paid for it. You're just here sharing your time with us. So I appreciate it. So thank you, Shannon. All right, well, I don't see any other questions. Um, if you have any questions after when you're home working on this, you can always um, contact me through my website or at my email, stephanies.stitches at yahoo.com. Um, oh, I'm making my first quilt sandwich, any tips? Well, that would be a great question for somebody else <laughs> because I long arm, so I put everything on my long arm. Um, but the one tip that I could tell you that I used to do when I didn't have a long arm is I used 505 basting spray. I love basting spray rather than pin basting. Number one, I don't like pinning because I always stick myself and then I bleed and I don't want to mess up my beautiful fabric. <laughs> Number two, I feel like the spray basting, the fabric stays where you put it. And the 505 is my favorite because it's actually restickable. So if you stick it down and you find a wrinkle, you can actually take it back up and put it back down where some of the other basting sprays don't come out until you wash them. Um, so that's my favorite way of doing it. 
And when I used to do it, I had to like go on the floor to do it. So I would roll my top on a pool noodle, lay out my back, make sure it was nice and flat. I put a big piece of cardboard underneath my back, put the backing down, put the batting down. Well, spray basted the batting, put the batting down on the backing, made sure that was all smooth. Spray basted the batting again, put my top on and slowly rolled it down with the pool noodle and smoothed it out as I went. So that's probably the only tip I have for you. I know that other people uh, pin based or they um, like based with stitching, but yeah. Diane, if you go to my website, um, stephanies-stitches.com, it's under my blog where the patterns are. Uh, that is in the description box below the video. Let's see, hang on. See if I can grab that really quick. All right, so I'm gonna put my website in. There you guys go. One more time. If you go to my website there and go to my blog, you can find the link for the patterns. All right, guys. Yes, that spray is amazing. All right, guys. Well, I hope you have a wonderful week. I uh, will see you. And well, if you come to my, if you come to my channel, <laughs> I'll see you in a couple of days because um, Monday we're going to release the video about uh, Stephen's and my collabs, Stephen Bland, the Bland Designs and the Idiot Quilter. And then I'll have my UFO video up on Wednesday. And then we'll be back here next Saturday for block number two. Thanks guys so much for sewing along with me. And it was really great to see you. And I sincerely hope you are having a great, wonderful beginning to your new year. Take care.